Well, good afternoon, guys. Marty the Mad Magpie here. A defeat at Stamford Bridge this afternoon. A 2-1 defeat. And um, it, it, it does hurt. It really does. Uh, because I thought the way that we played today, it wasn't vintage from Newcastle, but we did have opportunities. Not too many. But, you know, we did frustrate Chelsea for a, a little time. But once again, you know, they, they always seem to pop up with the uh, the important goals, don't they? But we've had it all today, haven't we? We've had VAR checks, we've had simulations, we've had all sorts today. But before I go into the match review, guys, welcome once again to my channel. If you want to subscribe to my channel, hit the uh, subscribe button, guys. It's completely free. And uh, if you like this video when you've watched it and uh, any of the others you check out on my channel, please give us a like. It'll help the channel grow. It, uh, if you want to leave a comment as well on this video and on any others, please do. It'd be great to hear from you, even if you just want to drop by and say hello. It'll be great to hear from you. And I'll get back to you as many of you as I can. So, defeated Stamford Bridge. And, uh, you know, did I expect much going into the game? Not really. I said before the kickoff that uh, I thought we would lose. I really did. And that's not me being... Uh, you know, defeatist or anything like that, or, you know, trying to put the dampener on things. But I just didn't think that, uh, I just didn't think we would score. Um, I, I mean, that was proved wrong by Alexander Isak. A well-taken goal by Isak. But um, we, we've lost the game again against Chelsea. And uh, it's come down to, once more, you know, bad defending from Newcastle. Um, you know, the first goal... Again, great finish from Jackson. Great ball in from Cole Palmer. Jackson takes it well. But again, who's picking Jackson up? Who's picking him up? Um, we got uh, level. Again, it was a defensive error from uh, from Chelsea. Uh, two on one. Ball played into the box by Lewis Hall. And a superb finish from Isaac. Uh, VAR had to check it. But how weird. That was never going to be offside, that one. Never. Um, good goal. And you're thinking, OK, we're back in it now. But again, we gave away a goal at the start of the second half. Cole Palmer, they know what a danger he is. He's a superb footballer uh, coming in from Manchester City to Stamford Bridge. And, you know, the, Newcastle would have been briefed on him. You know, he is a problem when he's got the ball at his feet. He's got a good shot on him. You never know what he's going to do. And they just, you know, Fabian Shea, I, I'm going to pick him out for that one because he just... He's backing away and backing away and backing away. And Cole Palmer's just thinking, oh, cheers very much, mate. Edge of the box, great shot. Nick Pope gets down, but he can't get his hand on it. But again, Fabian Shea, why didn't he just go in and challenge him? That's what I'm thinking. You know, when you know when my days of playing football, playing as a defender, you know, if I'd been backing away and backing away and backing away, and uh, the striker gets a shot off, you know what I mean? And it goes into the bottom corner. Well, I've got to say that, uh, that my comfort at the time would not have been happy at all um, because you, you've got to you try and close him down, make it difficult for him. If he takes the ball past you, then gets in, where at least you've had a go at challenging. But I don't know what I don't know what's wrong with Fabian Shea at the minute. He seems to be really off the pace. And uh, that was a bad goal to give away. We had chances in the second half. Uh, Isaac had one blocked on the line from Rhys James. And then towards the end of the game, a great diving header from uh, Joe Willock. He was unlucky, great at Reese James. That's why he's the captain of the football club at Chelsea. He leads by example. He's a top, top player. And he you know, he kept them in the game there at the end. But once more, uh, get, I'm jumping the gun here. Uh, the simulation, the penalty decision, um, the referee, Simon Hooper, makes the, makes the decision of a penalty goodness me it's var got straight on to him well hang on we're checking this out you know this this fella that uh in Koki or whatever he's called you know he should be on the uh he should be on the olympic diving team there because that you know dan burn yeah he does get a hold of his shirt but it's dear you, mate, he, he gets all of it but he, he hasn't dragged them to the floor the lad has just you know floated down to the floor and uh he's it's it's a complete nut a dive, um, and Simon Hooper obviously he's gone over to the, check the uh, monitor at the side of the pitch. He's had a look at it, 
you know, and he's, he's decided, no, it's not a penalty, it's simulation. But um, what's Dan Byrne there? He said that he should have been booked for that, you know, for the dive. And I, I quite agree. You know, I think uh, if he gets away with that, um, then it's a, it is a, a yellow card. I mean, there were uh, people seeing in the first half uh, when Bruno was brought down. Uh, at the edge of the box, obviously Bruno wanted a penalty. There was no way it was out. It was outside the box, Bruno. But uh, that was a it was a foul, um, and there were question marks. Should he have been given a red card for that because it was a goal scoring opportunity? I don't think so. I think there was too many people in that vicinity. You can't really see he's the last man, um, and you know it's it's it was just wasn't to be on the day, you know. Um, we we just we just couldn't uh, keep Chelsea out, and in people will say Chelsea are a lucky team. Yes, they are a lucky team. But today they did what needed to be done. You know they kept us at bay. They were you know they were panicking towards the end there. You know they were getting a bit rickety, but you know they they got the job done. They won the game, and for Newcastle it's another defeat on the road. We've got uh, a massive game coming up against them in four days' time at St James's Park in the cup. I hope they were up for that occasion, uh, being at home and trying to progress to the next round of the League Cup. But then after that, we've got Arsenal at home. So we've got two home games coming up and we've got to step up. We really have defensively. Attack-wise, attack we've had chances today. And I think Newcastle will probably look at this and Eddie Howe will probably look at it as well and say, you know, we've been unlucky in front of goal today. Um, but as you know, as the old saying goes, you've got to put the ball in the back of the net to get a goal. So it's one of them. But uh, overall, the performance it wasn't vintage from Newcastle United, as I said earlier. But you know, we give it a go. Um, but Chelsea, in the end, came out with a win. So it's a disappointing defeat. But uh, we go on to the next game, and you know, we we'll try and uh, sort it out. Then my opinion on the game was, you know, as I say, it wasn't vintage. It was. Uh, it was okay. It was an all right performance, but you know, defensively, we we need to work on that because it's it's one of those. And is Sven Botman a big miss in the centre of that defence? I believe he is, um, and I think a fully fit Sven Botman when he does come back into the side will make a real difference. Um, you know, you, you could have said, well, don't put Fabian Share in. Maybe he's put Jamal Lascelles in. You see, Jamal Lascelles had a as much as I like the guy, I just think in terms of a, being a Premier League footballer, I just don't think he's got it. And, you know, I think Fabian Shea, he makes that one mistake. But apart from that, he did OK today. But the defence, it is it has been tested, you know. Um, but there you go. And it's, we've lost the game. It's a narrow defeat. But I didn't expect anything going into the game, quite honestly. I wasn't optimistic at all. And, you know, people will say, well, you should be, Marty, you should be. But when you get into a place like Chelsea, you just think, ah, it's it's just not going to happen. But overall, the game was OK, but we just couldn't come up with the uh, the goods. And uh, we've ended up losing 2-1. So disappointed this afternoon. OK, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll catch up with you all soon. If you like this video, please give us a like. It'll be much appreciated. And uh, if you want to leave a comment about the game, were you at the game today? Were you watching it on the TV? Listening on the on the radio? Whatever you were doing, guys. What did you think of it? Let me know. Get in touch. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, just hit the subscribe button, guys. As I said earlier, it's completely free. And uh, any new videos that flash up, you'll get uh, instant access and you'll be notified straight away. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great evening. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now. All the best to you. Cheers for watching. Thank you.